All right, what's going on guys? Just want to do a quick recap of the trades today. I don't have much time, so I'm kind of going to fly through it, um, but we'll hope for the best. So one of the trades I took today was on KAL. You can see a nice five minute setup here, kind of a flag look, flat top breakout. Also, if you go to the one minute, go ahead and show you guys that real quick. You see this nice flat top over here. We got to get over it. Um, so I was looking at it as a five minute flag. Really, really nice over here. Um, you can see, you know, high volume push into a resistance area of 15.5, held our 15 daily pivot over here on some candles, some wicks down, but they didn't close under the 15 level. That's when I started getting interested in it. And you could also see this nice descending VPA and then a big buyer's candle right over here. So I got long on this one, 15.34, so right into here. Then, you know, we start dipping down. I add more, 0.1488. Um, so I had about 15 average on this. And risking off of this 14.25 uh, previous high, initial high day area right over here. You can see we tested it as support right here and we bounced off of it perfectly. Also have the VWAP and the EMA9 kind of curling over and telling you, hey, you know, this level should be a good level of support. So got long in this area. Nice buyers stepping in, giving us a new high day into 16.45 area. This is where I took my first piece off into the ask. Then we start consolidating and then that's when I noticed we had this little lower trend line forming, kind of higher lows throughout. Then we kind of formed this, you know, ascending triangle look. You can kind of see, you know, this is our flat top resistance. This is our ascending channel over here, slowly creating, you know, um, higher lows and keeping that same high as the resistance point and kind of pushing to that apex to get that very big breakout. You can see very low volume inside of the ascending triangle. And then buyers come in and send us blasting through resistance through our 17.4 daily pivot, through our 18 pivot, all the way into 19 cents. Um, so as soon as we, you know, got this parabolic pop, peeled some off 18, peeled more off into 19. And then I kind of held my last piece and I was looking for this move right over here that we got in the after hours. Now I'm not in it. I didn't get that move. Um, reason why I was looking for that move is because you can see once we get that 18 break on that gap fill, we got room into 21 and then we got room into 24. So ultimately was looking for, you know, that push into 21s. We ended up getting it here. Um, but that's when I noticed, you know, we kind of started forming this downtrend here, kind of descending triangle, 17.4 acting as support, lower highs all the way through. And then finally we get pushed down through the descending triangle and, you know, start selling off into the end of the day. Um, so I took my last piece off at 16 cents, right when we knife through here, could have held, you know, could have risked for break even, but you know, we were up really nice on the trade. I believe it was like 30% or so, maybe 25%. So I was like, you know what, we'll let it go. Um, eventually, you know, it did pull a U shape recovery based out and then, you know, created the highs that I wanted in the after hours. Um, really nice trade on this one. We're all over on Twitter. We're all over in the goblin gang. And this one was a 31% gain at the highs. You can see it right over here. Then this other one, I'll get into it right now. This was actually um, OTIC. This was a, another very nice one today. We'll go over that one, walk you guys through what I've seen. So OTIC in the morning, we had this clear resistance point pre-market high 17.29. Um, I was, you know, talking to Dom on discord and i was telling him like hey i want to see the 1729 give out i want to see the push through 18 and i want to see it base over here said the same in goblin gang said the same right over here right on my twitter 18 break in base will be nice we got our 18 break pulled back into 1798 that's where i started smacking it filled some at i was like really really hitting this thing um so we get our push into 19 Filled some 19, filled some 18.5, 18.5, 18.5, 18.5, 18.5, 18.9, 18, and then 19. So I believe it was on this candle, if I'm not mistaken. It was, yep, right into the pullback. So right into this candle as it was pulling back into this pivot, I was just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. I really, really liked this one. I was waiting for this break, stayed patient for it, and when I finally got the ads I wanted, I was, you know, no hesitation, just slapping it, you know, ready to go. Um, so, you know, as soon as I do that, um, you know, we suck up, other buyers started stepping in. We get a nice push into 20. This is where I started peeling off 19.5, 20 cents. Start pulling back a little into here, kind of form this nice five minute flag look right into the pivot. 
this should have been the ideal ads really right here there was um, you could say you know we did hold but this wasn't really high probability I believe that this little flag setup right here was it had higher probability than this setup but you know it is what it is I added over here because that's you know the area I wanted to add in so nice high volume push up to 20s put in this nice five minute flag over this previous high day initial high day pivot over here you could see buyers step in suck it up send it through the highs into 21s that's where I took another piece off into 21 start curling down and then that's when I noticed that we had this first trend line it went something like this we had our first trend line right here start trading higher into 23s 22s took some more off into 22 at the ask didn't take any more off and the reason for that was because I was looking for this final move here and I was all over it in the goblin gang we'll go ahead and uh, pull that up right now Um, right over here, where is it at? Five minute flag against 18 pivot. Very simple, looking for 22s, which is what which is what we got right over here. Then looking for 25 area for gap fill. Reason for that is if you go to the daily, you see clear gap fill 25 cents. And so I was looking for the push through 25, see if you know we get 2830s. But ultimately my main target was 25, and that's why I took my last piece. Um, so we start trading, you know, higher lows throughout. We come up here, crack this trend line, and then that's when I noticed we kind of had this trend forming. So we pulled into here, and then let me get rid of this, make it more simple. So we have this slow, start pulling into here, kind of trend line tap you can consider. But then when we put this here, I, you know, started seeing the picture, the bigger picture form. I'm like, okay, you know, we got this nice trend forming here. Let me adjust my trend line, and then that's when I drew this one. Also connected this high to this high. You could see we were kind of in, you know, a consolidation wedge, very low volume. Um, right here, they tried to stuff it. Shorts started coming in. They tried breaking trend and flushing it down. You could see it was on pretty low volume. As soon as that happened, buyers said, nope, we're not letting this go. And buyers stepped in to push us back to the top of the trend. We put in another five minute flag right here. Look, you can see nice high volume push, low VPA pullback. And then buyers step in and we get that massive move into 23s didn't take any off pull back retest our you know our downtrend line you can call it our wedge line you could say more buyers step in get our push into 24s and i actually took my last piece off at 24.5 this one here at the highs um when i got this screenshot i believe it was 19 percent or so at the highs it was uh 20 percent so at 22s, it was 19%. All the way up here when I took my last piece off, it was a 30.71, I believe, percent gain. Um, overall, really, really nice trade here. Uh, really nice setup, clean momentum. Something we could sit in all day and you know profit on all day. So I was really, really happy with that. Uh, another trade I took on the day was USEA. USEA was actually my first trade of the day. And we had a really nice setup here nice kind of flag look right here low vpa pullback got long 333 had a nice pop 337 took some off had another pop 347 took some off then ultimately stopped the rest out down here at three dollars and 33 cents for break even a uh, really nice flag here really nice trade one that i'll take any day really nice vpa and uh yeah that's pretty much it sorry for kind of the quick review um i have some things that i have to actually go take care of right now again um, but with that being said, you know, I wanted to come on and just do a quick review. So hopefully this is helpful to someone. Peace, guys.